Hi, I'm Linda from Sew and Bee Fabrics. I want to show you how to make your own cloth buttons. So first up you need your two parts for your buttons. This is going to be your front and then this one is going to be the back. Then you need your button tool. So this tool comes apart and then you can put your button pieces inside. Your button tool will also come with a little chart that will show you what size you need to be able to cut out your fabric to make your buttons. So each of the different circles will show you what sizes you need to be able to cut out for. So the number here is the size of the button. So to be able to use the button chart, first we're going to want to make a copy of it. So you're going to need some tracing paper or some uh, greaseproof paper or freezer paper or whatever you have on hand. Have a look at what size circle you're going to want. We've got a 23mm button so that's going to follow the line for the 22mm. So you just place that over the top, trace roughly around. It doesn't have to be super neat as long as you've got a rough copy. Then all we're going to do next is just trim around it. Obviously not using your fabric scissors. Now what I like to do next that isn't on the instructions is to be able to make it easier to fussy cut my buttons. So what you need to do is just to place your button right in the centre and then with your pencil You just want to have a rough circle marked around. Now when you're then cutting out your fabric, you know that this is going to be the only visible part of the button. The rest of it's going to be hidden underneath where um, it joins up inside. So when you're selecting your fabric scraps to use, you've got to be really selective about it. If the pattern's too big, it just isn't going to fit inside that little circle. So you're probably going to want to carry this circle around and have a look at which fabrics will suit it best. So something with a small print is going to fit much better into your little centre hole than something that's going to potentially poke out over the edges to look any good. So I'm going to want to use these big flowers to go onto my buttons, but you need to think about where the placement of the flowers are as to whether they're going to be suitable for your buttons. For example, if I try to use this one, when I place my template to get a perfect position, it goes halfway over the edge. So I'm not going to be able to use either this one or this bottom one here. I'm going to have to stick to the flowers that are in the middle. So this one is going to be my perfect one. Now you can pin it but it isn't really necessary because it doesn't have to be a completely perfect circle. So you open up your button tool, on the back it says the sizes of the different buttons. So we're going to want this one, it says 23mm which is the same as our button here. You've got to place your fabric inside first, you place that face down that way. So again we want to make sure that this flower is going to sit right in the centre so you might want to just take a minute just to adjust it. You pop your button on the top and then you push it into that gap. Now if you're not sure if you're in the right position or not, turn it over, it should sit perfectly. Then just push down this fabric around the outside so that it all scrunches up inside. Take the back, you want it to be facing with the big groove facing upwards. Turn it around until the hook slides through the hole and then this groove here is going to fit inside the channel around there. So you want to place it through like this. Now you can just push down on it and a lot of people just do that. If you're making quite a few though, I find it's quite hard on your, uh, your hands and your wrists. So what I prefer to do is to do it with my feet. Just line your foot up over the top of it, then push down until you feel a click. So open it back up and inside you'll have your perfect button.
And now your cloth button is ready to sew on. So if you enjoyed that, don't forget to subscribe and I'll bring you more sewing tutorials soon.